لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Mahir and welcome back again in my video. Another topic, uh, but in, in another video, same topic, but I guess another video. All right, now I want to interview a foreigner. And how about the interview? Just come with me. Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All right, the audience, uh, now I'm with who? Ahmad Zuhaib. Who? Ahmad Zuhaib. Ahmad Zuhaib. That's right. Ahmad Zuhaib. All right, Ahmad Zuhaib, now I want to submit four questions about the situation after Hajj. Okay. And then you have to answer it. All right. All right, let's start it, okay? First question is, what did you feel when you did Hajj? Uh, I think I feel great. Uh, it's a great blessing to be here. Uh, I think uh, I always believe uh, coming to Hajj is not an option, it's not a choice. It's uh, an invitation from the God. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, invites you here, uh, you are his guest, you perform the entire Hajj. So it's nothing in your hands. So I felt great, I felt honored. Uh, I would love to come again and again. It's my second Hajj this time, Alhamdulillah. Uh, I would love to do tens and tens of them, inshallah, in my future, in my life. So it was great. <laughs> so the first Hajj, uh, when you did do it? Uh, I did my first Hajj two years back, 2016. 2016. So you are so happy, right? I am over the moon. <laughs> uh, okay, the second question is, what experience did you get while doing Hajj? <laughs> I think it's a great lesson for all of us. I mean, uh, the Muslims across the world, I mean, they unite under a single banner. Uh, they, though they don't speak the same language, but they tend to understand each other. They tend to respect each other. They tend to help each other. So it's a great message for the entire humanity, uh, for the entire Muslim world, uh, that uh, regardless of the language you speak, uh, regardless of the region you live, uh, regardless of the skin of your color, regardless of the creed you belong to, the caste you belong to, uh, if you belong to the same religion, if you speak the same uh, language of humanity, you can always gather under one roof, you can always help each other, you can always spread love among each other. So that's all the experience what you got? That's the greatest experience anyone will have. So that's a big experience that you got, huh? It is, it is, for sure. Uh, last time I came alone, this time I was you know, along with my wife. So uh, I saw many older people getting helped by younger blood. Uh, some people were dragging their wheelchairs. Some people were helping them with, you know, changing their shoes. Some were helping them by feeding them good, hot food. Uh, some were serving uh, chilled water, chilled zamzam across the route. So I think that's a great feeling, you know. Uh, I mean, regardless of religion, like let's be the Christianity, let's be Buddhism, let's be Islam, let's be anything. Everyone preaches out that you should serve humanity. And the best thing you'll see across the hood is serving to humanity. And serving to humanity is serving to God. I think it's a great, great experience that once, one, anyone will ever see in its life, for sure. Okay. Thank you for all your answers. Thank you. Uh, the third question is, what do you think about the thunderstorm in Arafah? <laughs> I think it was a moderate one. Uh, I didn't uh, had to bear the entire one, uh, but I think it was very well managed across the Arafah and uh, Mina. Uh, uh, we experienced it uh, throughout the Maghrib to Isha prayer during the Mina. That's eighth of Zilajah. Uh, it was not very severe. It was pretty moderate for us, and I think it was very well managed. I mean, uh, though I heard the news that Arafah's camp were thrown away from the wind, they blown away. But I think once I reached Arafah the next day, it was all cleaned up. It was all very well organized. So I think it's a great, uh, you know, hats off to the entire uh, service community who was working for the entire part, uh, who was pulling out the entire job, you know, serving the hood charge. And I think it was great. It was very well organized in Toronto. Because I heard on the news on television, there was a thunderstorm in Arafah because 
they said it was so script it was so creepy is it no it wasn't creepy at all i mean it was i would say it was a uh, <clears throat> moderate to high wind uh, wind storm i would say rather than a thunderstorm they were rains at parts uh, not throughout the mina not throughout the arfa so there were rains in parts and bits and pieces but nothing very extreme it was just a moderate thing that happened overnight so it was a not really creepy like right? nothing to scare nothing to scare cuz allah allah with us right shak the shak allah inshallah okay the first question is what is your hope to allah for your life that is my hope yeah your hope Oh well I, your biggest hope well I would love to be a part of this uh, the entire guest that, that the hujjaj gives it comes in every year I would like to be part of that every year to be very honest that's the biggest hope I would ever have to draw uh, I would like to come here again and again in every form like love for for umrah for hajj I would like this uh, place of Allah taala subhanahu wa taala to be my next home rather than Pakistan So I belong from Pakistan. It's very near to us, but there's multiple, you know, uh, supplications, multiple uh, penalties if you come in again and again within a year. But I would love to be invited by Allah because uh, eventually I believe by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, if you are invited by the God, you are always here, right here. So I'm meeting here. I'm, you know, partying here in sort after post my Hajj journey. Uh, my biggest hope is uh, my name in the Hujjaj list should be there every year, inshallah. I will pray for you that inshallah. Sure, you should. Okay, I will. All right, thank you brother. Okay, that's all the questions. What's thank you for your time. What's your good name? So, that's all the interview what I got from foreigner. I think his interview, his answers is makes sense because his answers are very amazing. And yeah, I think its answer is makes sense. And so, thank you for watching everything. And I want to tell you again, my name is Mahir. So see you in another video with another topic. So thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.